Hey, what's up guys? Rob from clicksgeek.com. In today's video, we're going to go through how to find keywords and build out your ad groups in Google Ads. This is going to be a more higher level video, but I'm going to show you guys how to find your keywords and how to find the right type of keywords to be going after and what the difference is between the right type and the wrong type because that's really important. If you're driving traffic from keywords that are not high intent, you're going to get leads and calls that are irrelevant to your business or your your client's business, whichever you're you're going after here. So before I get into that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel right below this video. Like, share if you don't mind, and also check out the links in the description. There's lots of free trainings, courses, all kinds of cool stuff. And if you are a business owner looking to run Google Ads, you can apply to work with us. There's a link for the in the description below um, for that as well. All right, let's get right into it. So we're in one of our demo campaigns here. This guy is a fence contractor. So you might already have a campaign with ad groups, and that's fine. Um, that actually works out well because it's going to be what we're doing here today. So let's just go into uh, one of our ad groups, and we're going to go find types of keywords for it, right? So the first one we'll do is fence installations. So this is a fencing contractor. We want to, in our ad group for fence installations, we want to go after fence installation type keywords. You can see we have them all in here. So how we find these, we go up to the little wrench icon, tools and settings, drop down. We're going to come over to Keyword Planner. We're going to open that up. Sorry, my screen's cutting off here. We're going to go into Discover New Keywords. We're going to type the theme of the ad group, which is Fence Installation. We'll do Fence Installers, because that's also relevant to this ad group. And we'll do Get Results. Let's see if I can move this over. There we go. All right, so I moved that over a little bit. Okay, <clears throat> so you'll see here we are targeting the United States. So if you're a local, whatever your locations are that you're targeting, I would enter them here. So let's just say I'm inside of Philadelphia. So let's say we're a fence contractor in Philadelphia. I want to go after Philadelphia because that's going to show me the true search volume of these terms. All right, you can see it's obviously much different. So here's the average monthly searches for the keywords that we're going to be going after. Now I'm also going to put a filter on the search results here because I only want installation type keywords like these are all other great keywords that we can add in other ad groups but for right now we're only doing fence installation ad groups so I want to put a filter on here I'll do that by keyword and let's say I only want to see keywords that contain the word if I can spell today installation And Google's going to sort everything for me. Cool. So here we go. So now we have all of the keywords with the word installation in them for fence installation, fence installers. And you can obviously switch the keyword filter once we build out the install installation keywords and then add, add in installers and it'll show all those keywords as well. So pretty cool stuff here. Um, this is where you're going to go. You're going to dig through and start finding your keywords like fence installation near me. That's a good one. Chain link fence installation. This So you could actually use this as its own ad group if you if you really want to get granular. Um, so this is a specific type of fence, right? Chain link. So we want to talk about chain link fence installation in the ad copy. And if you're not doing that in the regular fence installation ad group, then you could break this off into its own ad group and add a bunch of chain link type fence installation keywords, right? So for the main fence installation keyword, I'm not gonna put chain link or vinyl or anything like that. Those would most likely go into their own ad group. So I can talk about that specifically in the ad copy and we'll get better quality scores that way. So the first one I would take is fence installation near me, fence installation cost. So that's someone looking for pricing or looking how much it could cost to get a fence installed. Come back down, fence post installation. So that's an example of something that I would not go after, right? Because we're not really sure why someone's searching this. They could be just looking for inf information on YouTube videos on how to install a fence post, not necessarily looking for <clears throat> someone to install an entire fence. And that's really important distinction, all right? We don't want to waste our, our precious money on going after stuff we are unsure of the intent behind, all right? So that's something I would stay away from for this ad group. Fence installation cost per foot, that's a good keyword. Somebody's looking to price out how much it would cost to install a fence. 
Again, we have vinyl fence installation near me that will go in the vinyl fence installation ad group. Pool fence installation, this could be another ad group too, about all about pool, fence installation, stuff like that. So this is how you're gonna find other ad groups as well. So it's, it's pretty cool. Wood fence installation costs, you can put this into a wood ad group. Same with aluminum, obviously chain link. Lowe's, Home Depot stuff, we wanna stay away from, right? We wanna add these as negative keywords. Lowe's and Home Depot, we wanna get away from all that stuff. So privacy fence installation near me, that's um, a good one. You could break that off into its own. It, it really depends. Um, fence installation companies near me, that's a good one. I would take this one for our main fence installation ad group. Keep coming down. Cheap, I stay away from anything with cheap in it. They're usually just uh, looky-loos, they're not really serious. Not really great high intent leads. Keep coming down here. You could even go fence and gate installation because they kind of go hand in hand. If you're building a fence, you, you need to have a gate. So I would add that and kind of combing through here. Fence installation companies, I would grab this keyword. It's a good one. So you may be thinking like, why am I even gonna bother adding this? It's only 10 searches a month. These all add up, right? So the more keywords you have in your ad group, the bigger that number is going to grow that you're going to put your ads in front of, bigger audience in this ad group you're going to put your ads in front of. So you want to add as many keywords as possible. Now, this can be time-consuming and a pain in the ass to do, but it's what's, going to, it's what's going to move the needle for you big time when it comes to leads and calls coming in. So you want to put the time in to every ad group and, build the, and really build these out as big as they can be. <clears throat> Professional fence installation, that's a great one. I would take that. Fence and gate installation near me, I would take that. So you see how I'm doing this, guys? I'm kind of just combing through fence installation price. Somebody shopping for prices, that'd be a good lead. So I would add that. So I'm kind of just combing through and I'm trying to build out our main fence installation ad group. So it's all just general fence installation keywords in there, right? And then by doing this, I'm also finding all these other ad groups for fence installation, like metal, vinyl, wood, you know, um, chain link, iron. Lots of cool stuff that you can build out additional ad groups and you can really get lost on a rabbit hole here. But so that's how you're going to do it. That's how you're going to find your keywords. And remember, we're going to stay away from the low intent stuff, the cheap stuff. These are not, they don't typically drive great leads. And um, we, if we're spending money in Google ads, it's already pricey enough. We don't, we want to know what we're getting into. We want to know what we're going after. So we want to only go after the most high intent stuff we can. Right, so and you're going to be grabbing all these keywords, obviously, and either putting them in your campaign or you know putting them in a, a Google Doc or a Google spreadsheet, and then you could just um, copy them all and put your match types on that you want to use and drop them directly into your ad group. So that's how you would do that. I'm not really going to get into that today, but oh, where's a good one? Residential fence installation. So that's something we definitely want to take as well. Coming down here, let's see if we can find some other stuff. Let's see if we can find some stuff that's a, a good example of stuff we don't want to go after, right? Besides like the other ad group stuff. All right, so Richmond is a geo fencing repair and installation, right? So we don't want anything with repair. You know, this client's looking for fence installation jobs. So this is a good example of a keyword of like you might add because you're like, oh, look, it includes installation. But they're also repair. This could be somebody searching for fencing repair. So we want to stay away from stuff like this because we're not really sure of the intent. And that's really important. So let's look for more stuff we would stay away from that you might think is a good keyword. Affordable, I'm on the fence with affordable type keywords. You could add these, you could not add them. It really is up to you guys. It depends. Um, I typically add them. And then if, you know, if I, if I hear from the client that the lead volume is, or the lead, uh, quality is not there we can backtrack it to um where they're coming from and if it's that then i, I you know we can always pause it let's see critter fence installation that's probably a brand if i had to guess so that's something i would stay away from as well american farmworks obviously that's a competitor so you want to stay away from all competitor brands Pet safe invisible fence installation. This is not regular fencing, okay? This is the invisible fence for dogs and stuff like that. So you, that's something you definitely want to not go after. Any any type of invisible fence type keywords. 
In fact, you should probably put invisible as a negative keyword in your Google Ads campaign because that's just not going to bring you any type of quality stuff. So horizontal fence installation, that's something you might think is a good keyword for our fence installation ad group, but that's we don't know the intent, right? So if we don't know the intent, the, the rule should be the automatic go-to is we're going to skip it. So stuff like that. I'm not going to keep you guys here for an hour, but so that's how you're going to find your keywords, find your new ad groups, and find all the keywords for all the new ad groups. And you're just going to keep going down this rabbit hole and building out all of your keywords. Remember, each little keyword, each high intent keyword we're going after, it might only look like it has 10 searches a month, but this, this is 10 phishing nets that you're casting out. Each keyword is 10 phishing nets you're casting out into Google and trying to get back leads and calls. So take your time. Build them out. Trust me, it's going to pay dividends in the end. So if you guys have any questions about uh, how to find keywords or build out your ad group, stuff like that, drop them in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to check out the links in the description. Lots of free trainings, courses, stuff like that. And also, if you are a business owner, you can apply to work with us in there as well. All right, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video.